Hello and welcome to the first in a series of art appreciation sessions. I'm Jan Lobben. The aim is to provide a moment of calm in your day when we can join together with shared attention towards a popular piece of artwork, a chill out time. I'll give a bit of background on the work and then invite you to study the image and relax as you immerse yourself in it. So I'd like to begin the series with an oil painting by Pierre-Auguste Renoir. It's called The Skiff, which is a light rowing boat. The painting's in the National Gallery in London, and it's in room 41. It was painted in about 1875. And it's an example of the Impressionist style of painting. As the name suggests, the Impressionists aim to capture an impression of a scene or a person, rather than to create a realistic interpretation of it. So they use broad brushstrokes and bright pigments and thick impasto effects to convey light and movement. I don't know about you, but when I visit big galleries, I can find it quite overwhelming at times because there's so much to see, it can be really busy. So whenever I visit the National Gallery, I always make time for this painting. It provides an oasis of calm amongst all the busyness. The tranquil scene is set on the River Seine, about 10 miles west of central Paris. It's a summer's day, and we see a woman rowing her female companion. The row is fashionably dressed in a tilted hat and her companion seems to be reading a book. It was popular for city dwellers to go boating in the countryside. Notice the steam drain in the background. It shows how the countryside was easily accessible from the town. Five years or so before the painting was created, there had been the Franco-Prussian War of 1870-71 and during that time Paris was besieged. Renoir, the artist, was drafted into the French cavalry but he became ill with dysentery and he wasn't involved in the combat. The war caused the fall of the Second Empire and the beginning of the new Third Republic. So idealised views of pleasure boating on the Seine the symbolic heart of the capital, celebrated the affluent middle classes on whom the new republic depended. In 1874, the year before this painting was made, the first Impressionist exhibition was held. It offered a very new style of art, and at the time it wasn't very well received by the public. Nowadays, of course, Impressionist art has become iconic, a significant period representing late 19th century French art. So now let's give the painting our full attention. Imagine you're there. Notice the warmth of the sun. The feel of a gentle breeze on your face. Breathe in that fresh air. Notice the sound of the gentle rhythm that the paddles are making on the surface of the water. Notice the sound of the bird song. The sound of the passing steam train. The rhythm that it's making over the tracks. the chuffing of its engine, breaking the peace of the natural sounds. Notice how the light shimmers on the surface of the water. Enjoy the strong contrast between that warm orange of the boat and the cool blues of the water. See how they complement and bring out the intensity of each other.
Notice the soft feathery brush strokes. Unmixed colour applied directly from the tube. Let your eyes travel around the painting, stopping on areas that capture your interest. Maybe the reflections in the water. Or perhaps the villa in the background. Notice its white boundary wall. Maybe the form of the trees. Or the feathery reeds in the foreground. Notice how colours are echoed across the image. When you're ready, and gradually, come back into the here and now. And remember, there are so many wonderful pieces of art to discover online, anytime you want to. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.